Hi, my name is Phil Anderson and I'm running for United States Senate to represent Wisconsin. First of all, tonight I'd like to thank everyone who went out and voted on Tuesday, specifically those people who voted Libertarian. In Wisconsin, you can only vote one party during the primary, so you could have chosen Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Constitution, or Green. In the Constitution and Green parties, uh, there were no candidates running, so I don't know why anyone would have chosen to vote in those primaries. In the Libertarian uh, primaries, none of us were contested. Um, so there wasn't, you might think, uh, a real reason to choose to vote in the Libertarian Party primary, especially since there were contested primaries in the Democrat and Republican parties, uh, probably the most famous of which is uh, the Paul Ryan versus Paul Nealon primary in the 1st Congressional District. So I know that a lot of people, in trying to have an effect on uh, politics and the federal and state governments, um, probably who, may, who might have otherwise voted Libertarian, decided to vote in the Democrat or Republican uh, primaries, which is fine. That's kind of what I expected. Um, I didn't vote that way, but that's what I would have expected because that's where you're going to be able to make a difference and at least maybe um, uh, help move things along politically towards a more free society and a smaller government by making choices that you have as opposed to choosing the Libertarian column and having no choices at this point. However, I was pleasantly surprised to see that hundreds and hundreds, the number uh, is not, uh, well, it's not public yet. I mean, it's, maybe it's in the, in, the, um, in the state government somewhere, but it wasn't published. Uh, but I know from looking at the county totals that hundreds and hundreds of people chose to vote Libertarian and voted for me. Basically to make a statement, I think. Maybe they didn't really want to vote Democrat or Republican, have an effect on those. But certainly what they did accomplish was saying that they are Libertarians. And regardless of the fact that there weren't um, uh, actual primaries between Libertarian candidates for offices at the federal or state level, still they wanted to identify themselves as such hundreds and hundreds, I would guess over a thousand. Um, those votes counted. Those are real votes. Uh, they were cast to show support for a candidate or candidates on the Libertarian ticket. And for that, I thank you. Yesterday, the Marquette Law School poll came out, and uh, my campaign's polling at about 7%, which is the same as it did last month. I was hoping the number would go up, uh, but it didn't. And I understand why. We haven't really done a lot of uh, uh, like marketing um, we have our, our uh, television ad buy hasn't started yet, and uh, my opponents, uh, Senator Russ Feingold and Senator Ron Johnson, have spent quite a bit of money, so it makes more sense for them to have um, not given up any ground to me. That makes complete sense. Our name recognition went up from 6 to about 9%. Obviously, we've got a lot of work to do in that regard, uh, but the rest of the numbers stayed steady, so that's, that's excellent. Um, the one thing that did disconcert me, though, about the reporting of the polls was that while Marquette uh, itself, the law school itself, uh, specifically Dr. Charles Franklin, reported the results, tweeted out the results accurately and completely, uh, there were only a few media outlets that, that reported poll results that included uh, my campaign in them, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Now, I can understand that um, in looking at what might be considered newsworthy, that you only report, uh, you know, that Russ Feingold advanced uh, from his primary and that characterized the race in November as Feingold versus Johnson. That's the way a lot of people still see it, as evidenced by the fact that my name recognition is still relatively low. However, if you use the poll numbers that only include those two choices, you're leading people astray. You're not telling the truth because uh, the Anderson for U.S. Senate campaign is on the ballot in November, on November 8th. People will have that choice at the ballot box. So... If you want to report the results accurately of the poll insofar as they are uh, predicting results in November, which I think is the reason for the reporting, then you should at least include the numbers that, uh, that, that uh, are from the selection that included me and not just the head-to-head -head Feingold Johnson numbers. Those are skewed. Those are inaccurate by virtue of the fact that people did not have the opportunity to choose, uh, to choose me as a libertarian. So I urge uh, people out there, uh, if anyone in the media is watching, or if any of you have contact with people in the media that report on polling results, to at least, even if they don't report me as being in the race, I understand that, but at least report the numbers from the polling that included me as a choice. Otherwise, they're just being lazy, and that's poor journalism, or they've got some other agenda. I don't know what that would be, because I would think that in regards to polling, they'd want to report what is accurate. Um, and the since I'm on the ballot in November the polling that took place not including me in the choices would therefore, just by definition, not be accurate. So that's what, what's been going on the last couple of days. We've got a busy weekend coming up ahead of us. Uh, Saturday we'll be at the Farmer's Market, the Dane County Farmer's Market, at our usual spot at State Street in the Square. 
Uh, Saturday afternoon, we're going up to the Eau Claire Music Festival and going to do some politicking up there as well as deliver some yard signs uh, all the way. Uh, Mauston, Black River Falls, Eau Claire, some other places. On Sunday, we're having a protest outside the Wisconsin State Fair at the corner of 84th and Greenfield, protesting the income tax as well as holding up signs and passing out literature for uh, not only my campaign, but John Arndt for Congress, Andy Craig for Congress, uh, Matt Buckman for State Assembly, possibly Jason Liebeck for Congress. We'll see. Um, and then later on Sunday, we'll be at the Watertown River Fest and possibly uh, the, the Janesville Fest, which name I can't remember, the um, Taste of Janesville or something like that. Forgive me, I'm from Rock County. I should remember the name of that, but I don't off the top of my head. So anyway, busy weekend ahead of us. Uh, next Thursday, again, we'll have a breakfast in Milwaukee. And so stay tuned, and I'll keep you updated as to the campaign. And I hope that you continue to watch and support me. Thanks very much, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.